How's it going guys? RNG Life here and today we're jumping into ranked once again. I haven't been I haven't slept at all, so this should be interesting. But yeah, this time we're using Magician's Navigation in a uh, Dark Magician deck. So yeah, I wanted to come add a few new cards to this deck. One of them was definitely the Eye of Tamias. I, I think this card is spicy. The only thing is I only got one copy of Amulet Dragon, but then I found out this can be used to summon any card that lists Dark Magician. So you can actually go for any of these fusions. Uh, I literally have these in the, in the deck just to fill out the extra deck, just to make it seem like I'm running some other stuff. But this guy I'm never going to go into. I guarantee I'm not going to go into this guy. Unless uh, some weird situation, I mean, that I don't want to take battle damage and I want to have a 2200 beater. But yeah, uh, so that's pretty much it. I usually am going to go for Amulet Dragon. And uh, sometimes I could go into Dark Paladin if I don't already have my Silent Waifu. Uh, so this is pretty much what the deck is. I did uh, modify an old version of a deck that I had that was given to me a while back. I don't remember who sent it to me, unfortunately, unfortunately so I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, it's a, it was given to me like on a stream or something. But yeah, it's a light and dark deck using Silent Waifu. Uh, and you use these guys, Breaker and Kaisu. So you can pretty much uh, send them back and you can add a Silent Waifu. Now, I did have her at 3, but I figured you don't really need her at 3 because there is uh, a little bit of consistency. Also, I'm using two copies of Legion the Fiend Jester, who I'm really liking in this deck, by the way. You can summon this guy, Tribute with uh, Silent Waifu, and then he adds a Dark Magician to your hand. That's exactly what Magician's Navigation needs because Magician's Navigation only works if you have a Dark Magician in hand. Uh, and then it summons um, uh, another spellcaster from the deck. Usually I'm going to go for this guy because he's probably one of the best tar targets. And then I guess Legion would be a good second or whatever, a close second. Uh, but yeah, so that's pretty interesting. So I really like Magician's Navigation. I managed to get lucky and get three. I'm running a 21 card meme deck and it's it's pretty fun so far. And it's actually, it looks like it could be potentially competitive. Uh, I am using three copies, uh, three copies of Magician's Rod. We have like five copies of for some reason, but yeah, we have uh, three copies of this guy because he's just really, really good. He actually can search Magician's Navigation, which is awesome. I honestly thought when when I when I read the text on this, I was like, oh wait, uh, I I believe this guy can also search this card, but no, apparently he can't, and that kind of that saddens me because it does say Dark Magician in the in the in the text, but I think it's basically uh, it says it says a Dark Magician monster. So I don't think it counts as Dark Magician. So that's unfortunate. But yeah, uh, that, that kind of sucks. I kind of wanted to be able to search Eye of Tamias. That would have been so cool. So basically, we got three copies of Dark Magician in this deck. I am running three for a reason. I'm also running one copy of Illusion Magic because there are situations you just don't have Dark Magician out or something. And you might have one of these guys, maybe even one of these guys. And then you can actually activate Illusion Magic on like your opponent's turn or whatever because it's a quick play. Uh, when you already have this card set, you can activate this card, adding one or two Dark Magicians to hand. And then, bam, you get your activation of navigation, which is pretty spicy indeed. Uh, and yeah, so it's pretty good. So what I like about the deck is that I can go into Amulet Dragon. If it does die, which can happen if I attack into them and they have like a mirror wall, wall of D, uh, he actually just tags out and he pretty much pulls out a Dark Magician. There's so many ways you can build this deck. There really is. You can you can run the deck in a cheese way, which I wanted to use with Magician's Navigation to summon like a level 1 tuner or something. So you can instantly go for a level 8 as soon as you summon Dark Magician. I thought that would be pretty hilarious to have that as an option, but I chose not to. Uh, but yeah, so obviously we're running a pretty much just just the standard cards. Uh, like I said, I'm only running two uh, waifu because uh, there's a reason for it. I just, I just wanted to see the how it would work, uh, the synergy of the deck. I can obviously search her, uh, so it's fine. Also, in some situations, you don't even need her at three because you're only going to summon her once or twice at most. And yeah, so uh, that's the deck. Uh, Kaisu is in here too, just to lock up their their banished stuff so they can't banish from the grave, which is pretty nice. Uh, and I think that's pretty much it. We're using cards like Dark Magic Attack and Thousand Knives to wreck their stuff. And yeah, that's pretty much that. So I think this deck is pretty spicy. I was messing around with it for a, quite a while. I actually took out Dark Magic Curtain because I was just not liking this card. Without further ado, let's go ahead and just jump right into rank and let's see how we do today. All right, Jack Atlas is going to be our first opponent. We are using them, um, not Paradox Rose, Lumis and Umbra. We're using these guys because reasons. Uh, I am on a winning streak, so that's pretty cool. I'm actually coming off a winning streak from my Magnet video, which uh, I just uploaded uh, not too long ago. Probably uh, a few hours ago, actually, from the recording of this. It took me about eight hours to come up with this uh, thing because I, I had to rest a little bit and eat. Uh, but yeah, so this hand is... It's okay, but it's not the best hand. Uh, oh, you had no summon. Interesting. All right, so we got Legion the Fiend Jester. I mean, interesting. I mean, I can. Ki I kind of want to go for this, to be honest. 
breaker, hit the back row, and get it and get him to like waste it. Um, that wouldn't be too bad. So let's do, let's do that. The only thing that sucks is we don't have Magician's Navigation right now. And the reason I, it's so good at three is because it's just a really, really good card to have. So, uh, already got rid of Rebirth. Oh, wow. They could have, couldn't they have negated that? Um, maybe they don't have the reveal card or whatever. But fair enough. We're gonna already going to go for the Silent Waifu. Even though I believe he has a straight up trap deck. And because of the whole Rebirth of Barshaft thing. So, yeah. So, now that that's a thing, I don't need to use that skill. I'm going to go ahead and just smack him for 25. So, there's some damage for you. Uh, so, yeah, the deck is actually pretty strong. I've been OTKing like crazy. Uh, so I had, uh, obviously, if you guys have watched from the beginning of the video, there were replays, and yeah, it, it just it wrecks. It wrecks pretty hard. So, that was just a bonus game, I guess, but fair enough. Next game. All right, next up is Ubel. Oh, my goodness. All right, so we got Ubel as our next opponent. Uh, let's see if we can handle Ubel. I mean, all I know is that we can shut down spells. Can we stop? Oh, I forgot to add Tretch. Tretch is another really good card in this deck because uh, Navigation can literally just negate. And you can banish it to negate, and that's awesome. So you can actually use Tretch again. So that's pretty interesting. So, okay. That is not a Ubel deck. This is a straight up... Uh... Okay, Super Soldier Synthesis. I, I get... Okay, fair enough. Let's see what you're running Boy, with Ubel, by the way. I don't know. I haven't seen their skill, so I have no idea what they're running, but they just threw away two level fours. Interesting idea, but you have no extra deck either. I have no idea what you're trying to do, but okay. 3,000 beater is pretty formidable, uh, but uh, it, can get, it can get even scary once I get my silent waifu out here with the, with the 3,500 beater. Uh, that'll definitely uh, put, put some scares in your shoes. I'll put some nails in your shoes. I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say, dude. I, I'm literally de delirious from not sleeping. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, as soon as I can get a Dark Magician out, I can really mess you up. So, first things first, I kind of... I could also just go for the other guy, pop this card, and then go for the effect. Nah, that'd be terrible. Uh, because I, I want to bounce back Jester, not Waifu. So, yeah. So, I'm going to go for the Jester Summon. So Jester is here, summoning the waifu, tributing him away. This gives me an extra card in hand, so she doesn't really lose any stats, which is pretty nice. So now, if lean, if lean, lean Fester, add a thing to hand. All right, giving me this card, pretty nice. Now, I could, if I really wanted to, attack my silent waifu into the black luster, and then attack again and kill it for real this time, but I don't know. What does this do eventually, if you have enough counters on it? Um, once more, you can remove three counts. Oh, can you add a ritual spell, basically? Uh, I also have Magician's Navigation, so that's that's fair enough. Uh, I can actually go through with the attack, um, or I could just wait and have the negations. I think I'd rather do that, uh, because one thing is, I don't, you don't really want to get rid of your Silent Waifu. Uh, she is a good, like, kind of, uh, beat stick, and she's really good at just kind of holding down the fort, because you can, you can negate spells and stuff like that, so... Sometimes they gotta bait out spells, uh, bait out the negations and whatnot. So, uh, banishing a light. Okay, so he's got the ghost ship or something. Oh, black luster soldier, big boy. All right, what is he doing? He, is he banishing my girl right now, dude? You banishing my woman? Uh, target one monster in the field, banish it. Holy crap. Okay, that's pretty scary. That's actually kind of terrifying. Uh, so the thing is, it can't attack at least. So she's gone, dude. She is out of here. All right, that's quite unfortunate. I am slightly hesitant, but I kind of want to use Magician's Navigation, pull out a Dark Magician and a Dark Magician, and he's about to end. He can't attack. Okay. <laughs> Cannot attack, basically. So, perfect. I, I didn't. I thought only one of these guys could not attack, but apparently both of them. So, if that's the case, then we're good. Uh, so, let's go ahead and get a free summon out here. Up, up, up. Don't disconnect on me. Don't quit the game. Uh, I think I'm going to go Kaisu over here. Just for the reason for no reason in general all right for no particular reasons uh so let's draw another one wow dude all right so basically we, what we have right now what do we have in the grave oh my goodness we could just manually activate this holy crap i can use that and make this thing lose all its counters all right so let's go ahead and thousand knives um, i'm gonna thousand knives uh first of all so let's go ahead and get rid of this one because it's the probably the scariest one so getting rid of that card there's a destruction right there i'm gonna set this card um, I could also um, activate my thing just so you can lose your counters just so you don't have a ritual thingy um, What else can we do right now? I kind of do want to lose a monster But uh, I don't know what I can really do aside from that So I'll probably switch my boys to defense 
and I might just negate this thing's effect for the for no reason in general. But yeah, I'm gonna pass. Uh, I'm good. Uh, the beauty of um, what's her name, dude, uh, the navigation in the grave is that you can pretty much negate any card that they activate, any effect they believe. I'm not sure if it's a spell or trap. I've I've only been negating spells and traps, but yeah, let's let's read it. Uh, but it's face up spell and trap card, yeah, pretty much. So they're activating gateway to chaos. I can literally negate that, or I can negate the ritual spell, which I'm most likely going to do, um, because I kind of want more more uh, spells in the grave, so. Synthesis is cool. So, I'm going to wait for the activation of Synthesis, and I'm going to probably negate it. So, implying that they actually activate, so. Let's see, you got to summon. Alright, cool. Decider over here, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, Decider is going to get his effect, cool. Ba okay, they're just battling straight up. Alright, so. That is cool. Getting that one out of the way. Now I can actually activate my, my navigation. So now I can go ahead and use my thing. I I'm, I'm gonna probably wait for Dark Magician to die though. Yeah. All right. So he's actually trying to challenge me right now. Uh, we're gonna go navigation on this one. I'm gonna get a free Dark Magician out here in attack position because no fear. And from my deck, I think as long as it's higher than 16, I should be good. But I think I don't really have anything for that. So. What I might do, they're all 16. Unfortunately, Breaker is just not going to cut it. Um, uh, as much as I really... I think this guy would add a Dark Magician, so that's not too bad. He's usually a good backup option, to be 100% honest. So, I'll go ahead and set him out here. Alright, so, there's that. Decider to recover a thing. What is he to risk uh, the other Decider? Not bad. Alright, so, interesting deck idea. It's a pretty interesting idea, but whatever. Uh, but there's the card I've been waiting for, dude. I really have been waiting for that card. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have only one? Oh my goodness, he has only one too. Alright, so, no, that's all I need. That's all I need. I can make myself uh, a little bit more, a little bit stronger. Also, he's not playing dragons, so, yeah, I don't, I don't have to worry about that. So, let's go ahead and activate this card right now. Eye of Tamias! Alright, gimme gimme an evolution or a fusion of dragons and sorcerers. Uh, getting me my amulet dragon. Alright, amulet dragon, get on out here. And the beauty of amulet dragon is that you can actually, if you, you do lose him, you just get a dark magician back, so that's not bad. Uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, I forgot the, you can banish Tamias as well. So, pretty good. And also, could you use this again? I don't think you can anymore. Uh, but would, would it be, he have been able to use it? I'm not sure. Uh, but we're attacking this guy. Because we can't attack anybody else. So we're good. But yeah, you can actually use Gateway to Chaos. Remember, when they activate a thing, we can negate twice. And that's... I think we can negate at least once. Uh, but I know you have one Ritual spell. So another one of these guys. Alright, that's fine. Time for battle, by the way. Alright. All you're doing is adding a Dark Magician to my hand. Um, so yes. Give me the Dark Magician. I think I... I kind of want to add the one from the deck, to be honest. Because I just don't... I don't want to dead draw him. I really don't. So, Yeah. Uh, so let's see what we got, dude. My turn, by the way. Draw. Magician's Rod. Actually, this might be beneficial. Uh, if I can Magician's Rod into the right card, I could also just Clash. And that's not bad either. So, Magician's Rod effect. Gimme, gimme. I could go for Dark Magic Attack. Not really necessary. Navigation is probably what I'm going to go for in this situation. So, dude, Navigation's so good. So, I'm going to set you. And I'll probably go ahead and Clash my, uh, my boy. So... Uh, let's go ahead and clash him with one of these guys. Because be any other thing can't kill him. So, yeah, he can't really do anything else. So we're good. This guy's actually managing to, like, pull off a stall game against me, which is interesting. So, I mean, I'm, there's no mass changes. So you, you definitely could have run mass change in this deck, which would have made it interesting. Imagine mass change BLS, uh, Light Ray Greffer. Cool. I don't need to use my thing yet because I'm going to end up summoning something weaker. So... Battling? Um, okay. Is there a reason for this? Do you have a super rush? No? Oh, he wants lights and darks in the grave. Oh, okay. I know what you're trying to do. He's trying to get another BLS out here. Okay, that's scary. Uh, the good thing is I drew pretty much what I needed, so I can actually go for the rod. So, we're going rod. We're going rods up right now, so we're going to go ahead and add ooh, illusion magic. This card I'm going to probably add because why not? Uh, so, now that I have that card, let's go ahead and enter battle. A clash right here, and that's gonna be game. <laughs> it's gonna be game, believe it or not. Ooh, okay, pretty good, dude. They had like some straight like 
BLS swarming, and I, I was I was starting to get scared. I was like, ah, oh, crap, I need my amulet dragon, but how am I going to get it? Uh, so not bad at all. Pretty good, pretty good. Let's see if we can get another game, though. All right, for real, for last opponent is a Weeble. Last opponent is a Weeble, and I'm what I don't like about Weebles is they sometimes tend to drag out games because they like to stall you out. So since it's the last game, I don't know. Uh, so let's see what we got right now. This hand is a lot of Dark Magicians, and I don't like that. Uh, he gave me, I think, one or two Parasites. I think he gave me two, actually. I think he gave me two. All right, rip. Uh, cool. My turn. All right. Oh, that's a that's a really nice pickup, actually. That's a really, really good pickup, so. Uh, but the thing is, against Weevil, I don't know if it's good, though, because he's in a Lava Gold on me as soon as I use the Navigation. And, uh, yeah, so that kind of sucks. Uh, but I will probably just go ahead and, uh, I'll set this as much as I don't want to. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get this guy out here. And I will definitely get rid of him for the waifu. So, get on out here. So now you can't use spells, so at least we got that. So, attack him. I'm expecting some kind of back row card, a trap that just wrecks me. Yeah, that'll, that'll do something. And at least you take some damage. So, it's not the worst. So, let's see what else we can do now. But and remember, we can activate navigation, but I might wait until he gets a, a normal summon. Until I can do it. So he doesn't lava goal on me. So that's what I'm going to wait for. So what do you got for me, dude? Uh, okay, then. All right. So now that I know you set up a monster, I can actually start messing with you with this navigation. I don't know if I want to activate it now, though. I have to be really cautious with Weevil. Uh, but that could be really useful because I can negate future walls of D and stuff. So I think I'm going to have to do that. So... Uh, we're gonna go for this. I'm gonna summon this bad boy now that he has his normal summon and special summon from the deck. I think in this situation I might go for the Jester. I think Jester is the best move. Um, uh, so yeah, I think we're good. I'm gonna go ahead and set this guy in defense. If he's tributed, I still get to add a Dark Magician, so at least there's that. Uh, basically, what I like about Jester is that he basically recovers his own stuff. So I can go Dark Magic attack right now. I know you could probably pop me or something, so I'm gonna Dark Magic attack below that. What are you, what are you doing? Okay, that's cool, too. Uh, but yeah, so if, if I did Tribute... Nah, I don't need the Tribute. Alright. Oh, what am I doing? I can actually attack right now. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and battle. Alright, so let's go ahead and see what we got. If I can hit with a 17... Uh, these two is 2,000. I think I might need to try swinging with something weaker. And seeing if it's like a weaker, weirder effect monster. It is. Okay. So, it's the Swords Whammon. So, all we have is 700 to the face. It, we came out losing in the very end. Which is unfortunate. I really, I get greedy. I, I seriously, I get greedy. And then I'm just like, okay, I can win if I hit with Dark Magician. But then I have to hit the monster with Dark Magician. So it, it sucks because I can't attack directly with it. So there's the Lava Golem I was waiting for. All right, Rip. I don't know why you didn't tribute away Dark Magician. Uh, Fiend Jester is going to give me a search though. So gimme, gimme. Not bad. Uh, so is that it? Oh, you have to give me Parasite right on top of the deck. The good thing is... Parasite's a free summon. It is 100% free summon. I still have the negations. I could uh, pretty much do some stuff. So let's draw. Oh, wow, Parasite on top of the deck again? You gotta be kidding me. He stacked the deck so hard. Dude, he's literally cheating. All right, so that's cool. And uh, Lava Golem also burns because that's how it is. All right, that's how he plays. All right, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, but the thing is... I do have these Dark Magicians in hand, uh, so I'm probably going to have to Tribute right now. Unfortunately, ne next turn I really don't want to get smacked, so we're going to do that, and uh, because he he, know he knows I had a, a Fiend Jester in hand, so battle, I'm going to have to risk it. No Draining Shield? Actually, remember, we can negate, so if he does have a, a back row card, uh, on that activation, I'm going to Navigation that, so no effect for you, uh, and we're going to get through. Oh yeah, man, it's like it's like farming epic yami all over again. Get wrecked, Weevil. Oh, that's the beauty of navigation, dude. Oh, it's so good. I didn't get your parasite, so get wrecked. And that's pretty much that. We we put we we stumped on that Weevil, and that makes me feel good for the for the day. Uh, but whatever, that's pretty much that. All right. Any conclusion? 
I'm really liking this build, but I really, I really want to mess with it more. I really want to mess with a whole bunch of stuff. I want to add treacherous. I, I because I think treacherous with navigation. Oh man, it's so good. You banish the trap in your grave, and then you have a live treacherous on the field. So I think that would be really, really spicy. I think trap and treacherous would work if you have navigation. Uh, but you do have to like save it. So I don't know. There's a good chance of treacherous just getting popped. There's a lot of other things you can try running. I wanted it like I like I said earlier in the deck explanation. I wanted to run like a meme. Uh, I even wanted to run this like card flipper guy. I forgot his name. Uh, but it, it's this monster that like uh, you summon it with Dark Magician. You'll summon it in defense, and if they destroy it by battle, it goes on their side of the field and clogs their board. And then you can attack it, and it just keeps going bouncing back and forth. And if they pop it with the card effect, or, or it gets destroyed with the card effect, you destroy a mon one of your opponent's monsters. And that's interesting. It's a pretty cool card. And I, I wanted to use that one. Uh, I was trying to get like an originally like a, a straight up like uh, Tamias deck, uh, and then I was like, you know what, Dark Magician is cool, but. A silent waifu is probably a little bit better and she's a lot more interesting so yeah that's where, where the whole idea came from but that's pretty much that uh i am actually very tired but, but that's pretty much that let me know what you guys want to see in the comments below i am extremely tired but i am i'm still trying to work on like some kind of a tamias uh, hermos um critias deck that would be pretty interesting but whatever that's pretty much that and if you guys enjoyed go ahead and leave a like share and subscribe for more dual league shenanigans but anyway Thank you guys for watching today. Have a great day and see you guys.